This is an overview of the Flipbox widget for Elementor by Unlimited Elements. Let's get started. To get started, you're going to want to make sure that you have Unlimited Elements installed on your WordPress website. If you don't have it installed yet, don't worry, it's a free plugin. You can find it under Plugins, Add New, Search for Unlimited Elements, and install it to your WordPress website via the WordPress plugin directory. Click on the plugin itself, it will take you to the widget library, and over here you're going to want to search for Flip box which is the widget that we're going to install make sure to make a space between the word flip and box hover over the widget and click install it's going to install it from the cloud and now you can use it inside of your Elementor website over here in the widgets pane I'm going to search for the word flip here's the widget make sure you're going to use the one with the UE logo on the top right drag that inside to your Elementor column and what this widget does it's actually a front side and a back side that transition between each other once you hover over them or trigger in a different way we have a really unique feature which is over here in the trigger which is called trigger button which I will show you soon so the first setting is for height we can play around with the height of course it changes the height of the back part and the front part together let's play around with the radius make this a little bit rounded looking good and now we can go over the triggers so the first trigger is hover second one is for mouse click so only once user clicks over here then the box will flip over this is really good for um, let's say mobile devices and a really unique feature that we have is trigger button let's turn that on and what it does it adds in the corner over here sort of an icon that only when you click on that icon then that will trigger the flip this is really really unique for unlimited elements so i'm going to leave that on and we'll play around with all the different styles later on inside of effect we have all sorts of effects so just as an example we can change this to zoom in and then when I click over here you can see that it's zooming in on a demo page you can play around with all the different types of effects I'm not going to play around with them now but here's another example push which is really really awesome effect direction so right now you can see the push is pushing to the left if you want to push up then just change that so this field is a sort of dependent on a, what effect you choose duration so in duration over here we can uh, decide how many milliseconds it will take for the effect to occur so if I want it two times faster I'm just going to change that from 800 to 400 and you can see that it's happening faster add depth this is related to the other effects that are actually flip alternate so I'm just going to choose flip alternate and click add depth and now you can see that it's starting add, of adding like a little bit of 3d effect to my content let's jump into front panel over here we have an option for changing the icon adding some uh, text on the front side description text and the trigger button which is really really important so that's for the front side for the back side it's the same settings and uh, actually all the settings are the same except for the button text and button link because on the back side we have an option to put a call to action button inside of loud we can turn on or off any part over here and another cool effect is that we can add a fade overlay what that means is when our flip box is flipped then it will add an overlay to the whole page hiding everything and just highlighting this exact little slide over here so that's another really cool and unique feature that we have in our flip box let's jump into the style tab 
and check out what we have over here. So we're on the front side and we can make that a gradient, for example, change all the angles and location and everything. Padding, if you need to add some padding to your text. Now I don't have too much text, so I don't need to change that. And we can change the positioning uh, of our text over here. So for example, let's change the alignment uh, to left and the text alignment to left. And now everything's aligned to left and we can move that to the top, starting to create really, really cool layouts, exactly uh, meeting our needs. Same stuff uh, for we have uh, for the back panel. And next thing is the icon. So again, really, really simple. We can make the icon bigger. We have the icon wrapper, which is a circle around it. We can make our icon less rounded or more rounded, give it a border and play around with all the settings over here. Typography, everything on the front side, changing colors, typography, shadows, everything that you want to add and the trigger button. So for the trigger button, we can actually anchor it to any corner that we want inside of our layout. So just for example, I'm going to move it to the top and you can see that it moved to the top. Let's change its color so we can see it on our gradient. And now it's looking even better. So let's change the hover color to maybe a white with some opacity. And look how awesome that is. We can also make it bigger. And of course, this supports custom SVGs if you want to upload your own button or change the icon to whatever icon you want. So the back panel, back icon, and back typography are the same as the front side. I'm not going to go over these right now. And we have an option also to change the back button and back trigger. And the last thing is the overlay. The overlay is this dark overlay that's happening on our uh, Elementor website. I can even change that, for example, to a gradient as well, which will be really cool. And you can uh, adjust this, add an image or anything that you want. I think I went over everything. The possibilities over here are really unlimited. I mean, I can't show everything because you can make some amazing stuff with this. You can jump into our demo on our website and there you will see all the different types of layouts and effects that we've created over there. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and I'll see you in the next video. 